Ladies and gentlemen, a uh, very special day in my life. Today is my wife's birthday. And I'd like to wish Deb a happy birthday. She's the brains behind this YouTube. She's the one that puts it together. I'm just the dummy that goes, another nut that goes to the woods and uh, tries to make some film. And she's the one that puts it together. So I want to wish my wife a happy birthday and many more. But uh, why I got your attention at this time of the year, our uh, second deer season will begin here on Monday on the 18th. And as you've watched the uh, videos of my attempts to take a deer, a 150 inch deer during the month of November, uh, you'll see, you've seen several different deer and some good deer. And there was a time in my life that I would have shot a lot of them deer. But as you get older, you get, it, the kill becomes insignificant. I mean, it's time spent in the field. And the nice thing with this camera, I can share some experiences to help level the playing t field of confusion that's out there today. And I want to show you a little demonstration here on the cabin floor. Now what you see there are a row of dominoes. And I'll tell you, if you want to try your patience, <laughs> try setting them up and see how many times you can set them up without knocking them down uh, inadvertently. Um, it'll test you, I'll tell you. But anyhow, each one of those dominoes represents something that you have to do in order to harvest the deer. You know, first of all, you got to have a place to hunt. Then you got to have a bow or a gun, be proficient with it. You got to take consideration of the wind. You got to get your stands up and on and on and on. And like I say, you can have all your dominoes in a row. And that doesn't mean that you're going to have the success, even though you've done all your work and got all your dominoes stacked up in a row. That doesn't mean that you're going to have the success that you think you should have. Now you've set all your plans and you've got a good mindset and you, you've went to the field and you've done everything you possibly can do. Now it's time for it to happen. And like I said, you've got to start out first having a place to hunt. You've got to have your stands, the wind direction. On and on and on. And like I say, each one of those dominoes has to fall in place. Okay. Now here is what we expect as we launch the dominoes. All of our dominoes fell. But look what was at the end of the trail. A mere doe. <laughs> well... That wasn't what we were hunting for. So, just because you had all your dominoes in place and they all worked and you beat the doe, as you've seen many a time on my videos, I beat the deer, but it's not the deer that I'm hunting for. So, that's a learning lesson. And now, we're going to show what can happen in a different situation uh, in the woods. Now you've started out, you uh, did everything right, you've seen you had all your dominoes, all your things that are required to beat the deer, and a doe showed up. Well, you did everything right. And there's no guarantee that there's going to be a buck at the end of that trail every time you set up. Let's look at this scenario. Now, you think you got all your dominoes, you're in a hurry, you're under stress, you're getting bored. I don't know how you can get bored, but it, it does happen. And guess what? A buck of a lifetime shows up. That's the buck that you wanted. And you draw back your bow and you're, you're ready to go. Oh! 
You missed! The wind changed. You made a noise. Your stand creaked. You fell asleep. The list goes on and on and on, as these would indicate. And the buck lives for another day. That's real bow hunting, folks. Now, let's try one more. After several attempts of going to the field and doing the things in preparation over and over again, you're back in the field again. And let's see what happens with your dominoes if you've done everything right. Each one of these dominoes represent a step that has to be taken. Your accuracy, you've had to practice, you've had to kept the wind in your face, you had to clear your shooting legs. Each one of those dominoes has to be in place to be successful. So on our third and final time, if you're still in the woods, let's see what happens. Oh, there's what happened. The farmer showed up. <laughs> he had the right to be in the field, and guess what? The big buck was on the way down the trail. And that's real bow hunting, folks. Like I said, I fooled you when I th told you the third and final time, because that's what people think. See, that's one place I, th I feel I have an advantage over a lot of hunters. Not my savvy in hunting, by any means. Uh, but it's my willingness to accept non-payment. I've worked in the construction field for 48 years. I've done numerous jobs, thousands of jobs. I met thousands of people. They all weren't happy when I left. I tried my best. But even so, you didn't have success. So I would just walk away. You don't owe me nothing. Lesson learned. It's only pieces of paper anyway. But so many people set themselves up for the third and final time. And guess what? If you do that, you're setting yourself up for failure. Because you got to keep climbing that mountain, climbing that pole, Climbing up the sides of that barrel that they put you in the bottom of in life. No matter, you got to keep clawing your way to the top. No matter how many times you get stepped on or pushed back down in life. Or how many times the farmer goes by, the car shows up at the wrong time. The neighbor's dog runs down the trail, whatever. Don't set yourself up for the third, third or final time in life. It'll happen when it happens. Now let's... Set them up again. <laughs> well, here we go again. We've set up. We've done all of our dominoes that we thought. We put them in place. A lesser deer showed up. We missed. The wind busted us. We didn't pay attention to that. Some of our dominoes just weren't placed right. Sometimes we left some of them out. We did everything right and something out of our control. Like I said, the farmer drove down to herd his cattle. Uh, the neighbor stopped in the middle of the road to glass the, the deer that you're ready to shoot. The list goes on and on. But you got to suck it up. And like I said, let's go back and give it one more try again. Because we got to always keep giving it one more try. Now, we've hunted, and it was our discretion not to kill. So we can't be getting ourselves down in the dumpster. Because, after all, we could have killed that doe. And if we would have been practiced, and we would have set the stand up right, or set the right stand that night, we would have killed that buck. And the list of ifs and it. And go on and on and on. But we're still in the field with high spirits and we still got to keep our foundation of our dominoes 
in row. So we're going to give it another hunt tonight. Bingo! We got him. We finally got him. That's what we were trying to get. And with all of our dominoes falling in line and sequence, with, we finally accomplished it. And ladies and gentlemen, I want to make things clear. There's not one damn celebrity out there that can do anything to tell you when a certain size buck is going to show up in front of your stand. Don't get caught up in that scheme and scam of product pushing and personality pushing. It don't happen. It's that old man up above that sends that deer down to you if you've earned it. If you've had all your dominoes in a line. And they all have to be in a line to make that deer a trophy. And that's what makes it a trophy. You did it in a fair chase manner and you fought diversity from passing up deer, to missing deer, to things out of your control when the deer did show up, to finally you stayed the course and you were awarded your trophy. And there was no shortcuts to technology, gimmickry, or whatever. And whenever there is a person alive that can tell you what time of day that you're going to shoot a certain trophy buck uh, at a certain size. Get the hell away from them as fast as you can because they're as phony as a $3 bill. Well, that was my little rant. But I want to tell you something on the funny side. I wished I would have filmed all the time them damn dominoes fell down before I got them in a row because that was getting to be pretty frustrating. But anyhow, I hope you learn something from that and put that in your memory bank. The domino effect. It all has to come together. Don't give up. Well, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and like I said, stay the course and you'll get there sooner or later. And then when you get there, it will be a trophy.